Mother Nature is a great pharmacist. She offers a lot of helpful and healing plant life. And the leaves, flowers, bark, and berries of plants have been used for centuries to cure everything from hunger to headaches. Here are 10 very useful plants found in the wild. 1. Cattails These tall grasses can be found throughout the world. Cattails are found in marshy areas and are easy to spot because of their characteristic brown seed heads. The plant's roots can be eaten. You can also peel back the plant's leaves to reveal the flower spikes, which can be eaten raw or cooked and have a taste similar to corn. The leaves can be woven into shelters, baskets, and mats. The gel found between leaves makes a topical anesthetic, and a poultice made from the roots can be applied to cuts, burns, and stings. 2. Yarrow This flowering hemp grows throughout North America and is typically found in fields and meadows. The plant grows 1 to 3 feet tall and has white, umbrella-like clusters of flowers at the top of its stalks. Its leaves can be applied to bleeding wounds to stimulate clotting. Drinking a tea made from its flowers can be a remedy for a number of minor sicknesses including colds, flu, headaches, and stomach ulcers. 3. Mullein Mullein grows in every U.S. state. It can often be found along roadsides and in fields and meadows. It can grow more than 6 feet high. It is easy to notice because of its large, hairy leaves and stalk of yellow flowers. The plant's soft leaves are a good substitute for toilet paper. Tea made from the fact that it is widely known as cowboy's toilet paper speaks volumes about its use in the years gone by. One word of caution, however, for those with sensitive skin, the fuzzy leaf may cause some skin irritation when used as toilet paper. Tea made from the leaves can be used to treat coughs and sore throats. Also, a few drops of oil from the plant's flowers can be used to relieve aching ears. 4. Rose Hips The fruits of the rose plant are typically reddish orange. Rose hips can be found growing on various species of wild roses throughout the U.S. These fruits are an excellent source of vitamin C, A, and D, and wild rose hips can be eaten or made into a tea to treat colds and sore throats. They also have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which makes them useful in treating arthritis. 5. Cedar Trees Cedars are evergreen trees that can reach heights of 50 feet, and their foliage is needle-shaped. Unlike the long needles of pine trees, cedar foliage is short, soft, and resembles ferns. The tea made from its leaves can be used to soak feet afflicted with athlete's foot or nail fungus. Cedar wood chips can also be used to ripple moths, ants, and other insects. 6. Nettles Various species of nettle grow throughout North America. You must collect these plants with care because they have stinging hairs. You can boil the stems, leaves and roots to make a tea which can be used to treat congestion and stomach aches. Also, a decoction of nettle leaves can be used to clean infected wounds. Seven, dogwood trees. Dogwoods are flowering deciduous trees that have a scaly bark with pink or white flowers. Tea made from the bark and leaves can ease fever and chills. Trees' branches can be toothbrush substitutes. Native Americans would chew on dogwood twigs to clean and whiten their teeth. If you persistently chew a dogwood twig, the end will soften and its fibers will separate, creating a brush that can clean between teeth and massage your gums. Bite Wild Comfrey Wild comfrey is found in Northeast North America along streams, lakes, and other bodies of water. It is a coarse, 
hairy plant with pointed leaves and white or purple bell-shaped flowers. Concoction made from comfrey leaves can be applied to stings, insect bites, burns, and wounds to relieve pain and fight inflammation. 9. 9. Horse Tail This plant is found close to rivers and streams throughout North America. It has bright green, leafless, tubular stems that grow to a point. A horsetail decoction can be used to treat wounds as its application leads to decreased bleeding and speedy healing. Walnut trees. These are deciduous trees that can grow up to 100 feet. They have compound leaves and nuts that grow in singles or pairs. Several species of walnut tree are found throughout America. Tea made from walnut leaves can be used to treat constipation. The bark can be chewed to alleviate toothache. However, pregnant women are advised not to take walnut concoctions and decoctions. All these plants confirm the fact that Mother Nature is the greatest pharmacist and her services are free. Also, do you know that there is a super easy way to make the best natural painkiller using a very common plant? It is a method that has been passed from generation to generation. To learn about it, just watch the video whose link is in the description.